Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look at the stock to flow price model and also into the DXY because currently we are seeing this bounce that we were expecting yesterday. Finally it's happened. So now let's see what are the potential targets here and the scenarios what could happen here in the immediate short term because we are facing now a very very critical point where we should decide if we're gonna continue our bull trend here towards 47,000 and higher or if this could potentially lead into a massive correction at least towards 20 so make sure that you watch the video till the end my friends also make sure to leave a like here if you like the content and of course also subscribe to the channel thank you again very much for all your support and also for joining into my discord trading chat we have a very great crypto family over there and of course if you want to get access also into my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin then this is the place where you can contact me for a little donation you can get access to the live stream on discord all right my friends so now let's start straight into the content because this is very time sensitive and i try to make the video as quick as possible so that you can watch it in time because currently it is very important that if you don't have any cash on the sideline if you are not prepared for a possible dump towards 20k that you maybe think about to take at least a little bit of profits out if you are in profits right now just to be flexible and ready in case that we're gonna see the scenario that we're gonna drop to 20k that you're able to buy the dip and you're not going to panic sell or anything like that because if we're starting to drop hard towards 20k this is going to be very tough to huddle so make sure that you can stay calm if we're gonna see a big drop but also you can stay calm and not FOMO in if we're gonna just start to moon rocket here towards 47,000 and potentially even higher so currently in the four hour time frame we have bottomed out for now here at around the 100 moving average we didn't come down here to test the 200 moving average which of course is bullish because this price level is down here at $27,000 our previous resistance area which now should be acting as a new support we came with this week down here to this $27,000 and already confirmed it as a support but of course if we are coming down again towards this level in my opinion we most likely gonna break also to the downside here towards 20k but now let's focus here on this pattern that could be forming here in the four hour time frame because as you can see after the rsi hit here the oversold area we had this nice bounce to the upside towards the 50 level and now it's going to be very decisive if we are able to go again above the 50 in the rsi if we can trade again on the bullish side or not because currently after this bounce that we were expecting you can see that we didn't even come here towards the 20 moving average in the four hour this moving average is currently at $37,300 so if you are not able to close four hour candles again above the 20 moving average then I think we could be in a potential bigger correction towards 20k and we would confirm the downtrend here in the four hour time frame we got here a buy signal in my own indicator so this was the perfect long entry if you wanted to take this trade but be very careful if you're sitting right now in a long position because there are two big warning signs one here in the four hour and one also in the daily time frame so next to the fact that currently we are still trading below the 20 moving average and as long as we are not seeing at least a one or two four hour close above this moving average which could take us again towards higher highs we also are potentially creating here a possible head and shoulders pattern in the four hours so if here we're gonna just trade sideways and also create lower highs so if we're not able to take out these highs over here then we could potentially form this head and shoulders pattern in the four hour it is still too early to tell but in my opinion if we're just starting to trade sideways here it's very likely that we could form here the right shoulder and now we're gonna see what could be the potential target of this head and shoulders pattern here in the four hour time frame because currently as you can see we have a support here between 31 to 30 thousand dollar and if we would really create this head and shoulders pattern in the four hour the target measurement would be this one over here from the top that we had at 42 thousand dollar and their support that we have currently at around 30 to 31 thousand dollar and let's say if we break out here to the downside this would take us straight towards 19 thousand dollar which is 
is of course also coinciding with the old all time high here of 20k and also our potential bearish target here if this is going to play out because also remember that this is the le price level where also the 20 weekly moving average is lining up and that's why i think it is very very realistic that if we're gonna form here this head and shoulders pattern we could potentially see here a huge sell-off towards this 20k area and this is where i'm gonna go again all in into bitcoin and also stack in some nice long positions it is also possible that we could see some weeks below towards eighteen thousand dollars maybe even sixteen thousand dollar but i think this area over here at around 20k if it's gonna be tested again will hold as a very strong support and i don't think that bitcoin will go way lower than that at least not for the long term potentially we're just gonna stay a couple of hours or days in this region before then we gear up again to go higher and higher so in the four hour we could form such a bearish pattern and we could see 20k incoming here if we're gonna form here this head and shoulders in the four hour the only thing why i think this could be denied is only if we are able to go again above the 20 moving average in the four hour and also if we go over into the dxy into the us dollar index we must now fall off the cliff again from this 200 moving average in the four hour as you can see here also we came into huge resistance we topped out at the rsi right at the top also in my own indicator we got a nice sell signal so we should now have a big drop again towards 90 dollars and maybe even better below 90 dollars in order to deny this bearish scenario here for bitcoin but if the dxy is able to stay above the 20 moving average now and bring all these moving averages here above the 200 and start to close four hour candles above 90 dollars 50 so above the 200 moving average in the dxy we could maybe see a short-lived pump here which could take us even towards here the 50 or 100 daily moving average at around 92 dollars and in the worst case for bitcoin even up here towards the 200 daily moving average which currently is at 95 dollars so that could lead into a massive massive drop in the bitcoin price and overall also in the stock market if the dxy somehow is able to push higher here to the upside so let's hope that is not the case but be prepared that that could happen since the dxy was just falling off the cliff for many days and weeks right now so a possible pump there is always in the cards at least a short-lived one because the dxy is still in the bear market still in a downtrend even if it would pump up towards the 200 daily moving average latest there i'm expecting the dxy to top out and then again fall lower and lower the problem is only that for bitcoin that would mean that we're gonna see this possible bigger correction incoming if the dxy is really able to pump like that so let's hope that the DXY is going to continue to fall right now so Bitcoin can go higher and higher again. But that is a big warning sign, my friends. If the DXY is able to push harder to the upside, then we're most likely gonna form here this head and shoulders pattern and this could take us straight towards this 20K area. So this is the time where we have to monitor the Bitcoin price 24 seven, my friends, because it's going to be very important where we're gonna close the next couple of four hour candles and also daily candles because we have now big warning signs that we could be in here for a major drop to the downside as well of course it is very bullish if bitcoin can take out this 42k again and go higher and higher but currently there are some big warning signs ahead of us that we definitely shouldn't ignore and the next one is right here in the daily time frame because with this correction this is now the first time that we close a daily candle below the nine daily moving average so we closed right now below thirty-seven thousand dollar. and if today we're gonna confirm that the nine daily moving average is our new resistance so if today we're not able to go again above this moving average so above $37,000 then this resistance could be confirmed and we will most likely come straight back down again to test the 20 daily moving average right here at $32,300 which currently saved us from dropping lower but if we're gonna lose also the 20 daily moving average look here at the 50 and 100 daily moving average they are right between $25,000 to $19,000 so the 20 daily moving average is 
is currently the last moving average before a major drop here so it's going to be very important that bitcoin is able again to close daily candles above the nine daily moving average so this was a fake out to the downside and it will continue our bull trend to the upside but as you can see here in the daily time frame this is the first time that we close a daily candle now below the nine daily moving average and in my opinion that is a big warning sign and this correction what we have seen right now is maybe not just a pullback like we had in the past here where we just corrected down to the nine daily or 20 daily moving average and then had a close again above the nine daily moving average this is now the first time that we see a close below this important moving average and since we are so overbought in the daily and also in the weekly time frame a possible bigger correction is overdue my friends and i think this could be the time where we're gonna see here maybe a last bigger correction sub 20k then bottom out and then create a new parabolic move to the upside which will take us way above forty thousand dollar so in my opinion there are some warning signs right now that could suggest that this could be the beginning of this correction that we were waiting for so long to test also the 20 weekly moving average that is currently lining up right here the 0.618 fib retracement at $18,500 so if this bearish scenario is going to play out in my opinion if we are not able to bounce here at $25,000 where the nine weekly moving average is lining up we will go straight towards the 20 weekly right here at $18,500 and that in my opinion will be the last cheap opportunity to buy Bitcoin because during a bull run bitcoin likes to retrace to one of these two important moving averages in the weekly so even if we would see this big drop bitcoin would still look bullish here in the bigger picture and that's why i'm telling you my friends never panic sell bitcoin if you want to take some profits out up here then okay but never sell all or never go all in feel always comfortable if we're going up or if we're coming down again because this drop towards these two important weekly moving averages can happen at any time and also in the past they happened already many times the only difference now is that we had this parabolic weeks here towards $42,000 and now we are far away from these moving averages and that's why such a correction is in the cards so you just have to be ready for that scenario and then you should be doing fine also for the future my friends very important always feel comfortable wherever the price is going and also if you're trading over on Bybit or Femex with shorts or longs make always sure that you can manage to keep alive the trade don't get liquidated or stopped out in losses make always sure that you lock in profits and if you're interested in trading with leverage Bitcoin Ethereum and other cryptos then make sure to open up an account over on Bybit or Femex currently on Bybit we also have this uh, jackpot bonus you have to put the word jackpot in the rewards top in the voucher space and then you will get up to $500 in bonus with all the next deposits that you will do for Bybit and if you need an account over on Bybit or Femex make sure that you use my referral links down below here because with my links you will get some extra bonus so you can trade even with this money for free you cannot withdraw this bonus but the gains that you're doing of course uh, this you can uh, withdraw at any time and if you're not an experienced trader to trade yourself with leverage Bitcoin then maybe try out Prime XPT because here you can copy trade other successful traders here you just have to sign up with your email put some Bitcoin and then you can copy trade other successful traders automatically so you don't have to do anything just with one click you can copy successful traders of course that is also risky but like that you have the chance to multiply as well your bitcoins and if you're completely new in the crypto space make sure to open up right now a binance account swissborg and coinbase with those exchanges you can buy all the cryptos that you want and also if you use my referral links down below here you will get also some bonus currently on swissborg up to 100 dollar and on coinbase you can claim some free altcoins if you have a coinbase account so definitely use those links down below here because you can grab there some free money and before we wrap this up my friends we're just gonna have a look quickly into the stock to flow price model we have covered that in a couple of videos already in the past and i just want to remind you that usually whenever we are trading far away above the stock to flow price model it is always good to take a little bit of profits out to rebuy once we dropping again below the stock to flow price model and this price model predicts a 100k bitcoin towards the end of this year but at the moment we are still in this phase where we should be climbing up slowly and slowly towards 100k and as you can see at this point of time we should be at around $27,000 based on the stock to flow model price 
So we are currently a little bit overvalued and that's why I think we are seeing also this correction potentially down towards the stock to flow model price. And if we're gonna drop below $27,000, then we will be again below this model price. And of course, that is always been a good buy opportunity. So if we're gonna see this correction below $27,000, then make sure to buy as many Bitcoin as possible and also stack some nice long position for the long term. Because as you can see, Bitcoin will go higher and higher and we should be at around 40k towards the end of March based on this model so you can see that currently the price is a little bit premature here at 40k and that's why in my opinion we are also seeing this little take profits here potentially down towards 27 thousand dollar but i think if we're coming down to this price level we most likely also come down to test the 20k area before we then continue to go higher and higher here so also based here in the stock to flow model price a little correction is in the cards my friends so just be ready for all scenarios keep a very close eye on the next couple of four hour candles and decide yourself if you don't have any cash on the sideline if you want to take out some profits right now or if you think that no big Bitcoin will go higher and higher to just huddle and ignore if we're gonna see a possible dump but if we are seeing such a bigger correction then take it as a good buy opportunity a good long opportunity and don't go and panic sell on the way down this is now the time that you can still take a little bit of profits out if you have completely no cash on the sideline but if we are coming down to those levels again then this is too late then here you should be buying again and not selling keep that in mind if we're gonna see here the bearish scenario and with those words my friends are gonna wrap it up don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and also join my other channels that you find down below here in the video description so let's see where bitcoin is going to head next 47,000 or 20k be prepared for all scenarios and you should be doing fine thanks for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye